Hey everyone! Today let's have a look at a simple freeform deformation deforming the curvature of an IGR duct. First I want to show you the end result. What we want is to change the curvature of this IGR duct but keeping the cross section area constant. Ok, so let's start with importing the STL of the duct and I also already created a line that follows the middle contour of it. So the middle contour can be seen here and this one will be used later to create the B-spline volume. We now create the freeform deformation and as you can see we can also add the B-spline volume here. This B-spline volume will be created along the path in the middle. Just set the path as well as the height and width of the box. Then we can change the number of control points we want to have in every direction. The reason is that we don't need that many points to change what we want to do. Then change the end position in order to fit our box onto the place we want to change. In order to change the curvature as we want, we can use an expansion around the point that we will specify later. Before that, let's have a look at the continuity. To get a smooth transition towards the inlet and outlet, we will set it to tangent there. Now we can select the points we want to change. In this case it are those on the bottom. To use our own point for the expansion we will activate arbitrary reference. The point we want to use can easily be created when we select the path in beforehand and thus will be automatically referenced to the line. Because I used a version of the path that was already trimmed, the middle of the point is directly where we want it and everything is set. We only have to drag the point into the arbitrary reference. We now want to control our expansion with a design variable. Just right click into the field and create design variable and it will automatically be referenced. Now if I change the design variable you can easily see how the box will deform. But as I said, we don't really want to change the cross area too much. So what we will do is we create another expansion. This one we want to change directly the other way. So what we will do is we use 1 divided by the factor. The points we want it to affect are directly at the outside of the middle of the curvature. Using these allows us that we will later get a shape that's kind of like a cobra. Now again let's see how our design variable will affect the box. As you will notice, not only will the points at the bottom move up, but also the points at the side will widen. I now select the duct and the freeform deformation and create an image dry mesh. This will automatically reference those. As you can see now, if I vary the factor, my whole geometry will change. Okay then, so I hope you liked the video and thank you for watching. See you!